is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. Jackson now to return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. On the return, the Rams take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Start out here with a jet sweep. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Murphy on the tackle. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Out of the gun, Stafford. That's caught by Jackson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. And the Rams first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's complete to his tight end Higby. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. situation you know what the quarterback has to do act as his own blitz control yeah he's got nobody else there to protect no him. one else there to protect which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit but not go down and fumble the ball following that fumble recovery it's murray flushed out right and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down but defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. They'll run with a former Tar Heel, T.J. Logan. And some nifty running right away as he'll get this up past the 30. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. 
It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll try and run the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And hindsight field goal, right? The three points would look really good right now, but I think what we just saw there, analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying, the more you go for it, the better your odds of getting it, the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three. They took a chance there. It just didn't pay off. Yeah, right here, the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Eluding the pressure right. Right side caught by Jackson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. Start backs him up five, first and 15. The shotgun snap for Stafford. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. JJ Watt in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick, and he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, you were backed up into a second and long, but instead of trying to get the yardage back in chunks, he's trying to get it all back at once. And this defense was just lying in wait, and they're there to pick this one off. After the turnover, here's Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. On 
play action. It's Murray. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First and goal. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Second and goal from the one. On the ground, it's Edmonds. And he is in for six. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. Makes the score Cardinals seven, Rams nothing. Matt Prater is set to kick off. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Jackson now to return. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but a little bit deeper on that one. I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try to get things settled down a little bit. Yard brings up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun. Stafford, that's into the hands of Akers, complete. Stafford, yeah, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of six yards. And they'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Taken down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup, And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Stafford bringing it in. Jackson left side. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Los Angeles. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. He was that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they, they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a toss running left, Akers. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly, and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, there'll be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter.
Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 37. And Gay knocks this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. We're, 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 we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you. And, but there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Going deep for Hopkins. And got his man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And that one results in 35 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They fake the handoff, now Murray escaping the pressure right. Going deep for Hopkins, and that's gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was gonna take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses wanna try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he is gonna have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. On the option, it's Murray. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That really sets him back, a loss of six. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 16. Murray is going to fire one deep, middle of the field. He's got his man. It's caught and touchdown on the season. Here the Cardinals push further out in front. And he's able to put it through. Makes the score Cardinals 14, Rams 3. Matt Prater is set to kick off. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big shot now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Flush to his right. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by the rookie, Isaiah Simmons. And they will score. By the rookie, an interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. And it's 21-3. to Good. Makes the score, Cardinals 21. Rams three. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Jackson now to return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quick. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Jackson now to return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Stafford here coming off his pick six. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. To throw again, Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. They got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, Stafford. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. On first down, Stafford here. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Stafford looks is caught by Jackson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. So the false start will back them up five. 
Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Again, it's Stafford. Throw left side complete. It's Jackson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Brings up second and three. Working with a second and three. Throwing again at Stafford. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Forced out to his left. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. Just like that. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the rookie Isaiah Simmons. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Stafford's pass intercepted. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. Looks for Nelson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Steven Nelson. Murray's pass intercepted by the Rams. They'll take over first and 10 at the 15-yard line. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Kick in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. Takes this about five yards deep. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the 9-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Play fake, Murray. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowler, Jalen Ramsey. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 22-yard line. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need it. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. To number 13. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. on the ground and he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further now on the return here we've got an injured player down there while the training staff works on him we'll step aside and be right back out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away fielded near the back of the end zone and the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Switch, switch, switch. They'll run on first down. It's Logan, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. To throw is Murray. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off by Leonard Floyd. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Being chased out left. Open man right side is cup complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 11 and a first down LA. And power running here down to the six yard line. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up Sear Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Complete. Deshaun Jackson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And it's up and good. Makes the score Cardinals 28, Rams 21. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. 
Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Now this time, Murray to throw it. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Throwing is Murray on third down. He's going to fire. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Cardinals in their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And Prater is set to kick off. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Jackson now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase. And my goodness, another interception. Jalen Thompson picks it, and to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback, coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run again with Logan. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 33. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. twice an all-pro, it's Todd Gurley. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. At the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. The former ASU Sun Devil, Eno Benjamin with it. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 20. This offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Check 
They're going for it. It's Murray. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. The Rams on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and 10. Stafford. This will be caught at about the six. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cam Akers, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Fielded a couple yards. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A huge play there for Arizona. 51 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Seven yards there and a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. 
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one scoop. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A quick toss out right, and he'll take this one in now on the year. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Makes the score, Cardinals 42, Rams 20. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Jackson now to return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing again. Stafford, throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seven yards, and it's third down. Stafford on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball three, and it's fourth down. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Complete. Two the Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To the air again, Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that will force a turnover on downs. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off down near the five. Well, in all likelihood, this ball game's still over. I mean, even with the interception, two-score game, they need a miracle. Curious decision to even throw the ball in that situation, but maybe they saw a stacked line of scrimmage and said, hey, it's better to try and throw than to try and run against it. In any event, I think you're exactly right. Now, the other team can pad their stats, but I don't think they're going to win. Yeah, but still, don't change the channel just yet. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a first down throw, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. So second and four from the 22. Brings up second and four. 
from the gun. Here's Stafford. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Stafford looks to throw again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. To number 13. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. From the 50 at Stafford. Flushed out right. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. From the 50, Stafford. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the rookie Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons. Stafford's pass intercepted. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 40. Arizona's yards. offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And he's going to keep it here. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he is out of bounds, but not good. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Arizona, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Rams, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead, they fall to 5-7. and seven. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.